Hello boys and girls. Today in reading, we are gonna be talking about something called intonation. Now intonation is about reading with expression. So instead of reading like a robot where your voice is monotone like this, it's about changing the way you're talking and looking at exclamation points and question marks and changing your voice. This is gonna be super important for author's day tomorrow when you are reading your story. Remember that Go Noodle where it says read with expression, gotta read with expression, gotta read with expression, don't read like a robot, right? We want to read with expression. So that's what we're talking about today. And we're going to look at your story from yesterday, Rain School, to uh, just learn a little bit about it. So I'm going to start right in the middle of it um, and not read the whole thing, but just do part of it. Okay, so I'm going to read to you some uh this this page here and we're gonna see um how i can change the tone of it and how i can read it with expression all right let's start page one says the teacher thomas opens his notebook to the first page and holds his pencil ready and waiting wait a second am i reading that with expression no not at all i'm reading it like a robot and as fun as it is to pretend to be robots, when we're reading, we do not want to pretend to be robots. We want to read with excitement and expression, because if I read like that the whole time, you would get bored. And you would say, Miss Rabbito, I can't even listen to you. You are reading in such a boring way, Miss Rabbito. You would say that, and you would be right. So, instead of reading it like that, why don't you try reading it like, page one, says the teacher. Thomas opens his notebook to the first page and holds his pencil, ready and waiting. Okay, so there were only that was there were only periods up there, so there wasn't anything to really signal excitement, but you could tell the change in my voice where I was still reading it with expression, even though there wasn't a whole lot of um, like exclamation points or things to change it that way. So let's continue. Now write the letter A. Beautiful. <gasps> here you might not be able to see it too well but there is an exclamation point so when there's an exclamation point your voice gets a little bit louder a little bit higher a little bit more excited so she's saying beautiful right you know how um when you do some work and i try to encourage you or your parents encourage you with your work we don't say beautiful we say beautiful great job right we say it in an excited way because there's an exclamation point so if you have any exclamation points in your story for tomorrow remember read that sentence with excitement so now write the letter a beautiful says the teacher as she looks at the student's work all right good okay so we put some intonation into that page let's take a look at the next page every day thomas learns something new every day the teacher cheers him and the other children on mm, the first sentence was pretty good that second sentence nah miss rabbit that was no good at all right we do you hear how i read the first sentence every day thomas learns something new okay and then instead of reading that second sentence like a robot let me say every day the teacher cheers him and the other children on Right, there's a happy word in that sentence, cheers, right? So there's some good words in that sentence and you wanna reflect what the sentence is saying with your voice. So if I say, oh, she cheers them on, that doesn't sound right because we're talking about something happy, she cheers them on, right? So when you're reading, even if there's no exclamation point or no like question mark to kind of show you your tone, you can even look at the words. If it says something exciting or says something happy, show that in your voice. If it says something sad, you can show that with your voice too. Okay, let's continue. Excellent job, she says. Perfect, my learning friends. There's another exclamation point there. And there's a lot of positive and happy words. So we know how we're supposed to say that line, right? Excellent job. Perfect, my learning friends. All right, let's look at one more page. The nine months of the school year fly by. You see how I emphasized fly? Because that's kind of the focus of the um, sentence, that it's that the school year just flies by. It goes so quickly. So I want to emphasize that too. The last day has come. The students' minds are fat with knowledge. Their notebooks are rumpled from learning. 
Thomas and the other children call out, thank you, teacher. Now, how would you say thank you, teacher? Would you be like, thank you, teacher? No, you wouldn't because you're not a robot. But you would say, you might say, thank you, teacher, or thank you, teacher, or thank you, teacher. So there's all these different kinds of ways that you can say it. It depends on the tone that you're trying to show, okay? She smiles and says, well done, my hardworking friends. See you next year. Okay, so if I said something to you about like, good job, well done, would I say, well done, my hardworking friends. See you next year. No, because that was a little less like a robot. That was almost like a sarcastic kind of rude tone. No, that's not how I would say that. I would say, well done, my hardworking friends. I'll see you next year. I would be very excited because you worked really hard and I'm giving you a compliment. So also when you're reading, you have to think about how someone is saying something and you have to think about how would I say that or how would someone else say that in this situation and then use your voice for um, the, the listeners to hear how you would say it, okay? Thomas and the other children race home. Okay, so these few pages that we read, those are really um, positive pages, right? There's some really good things happening and it's um, a happy story overall. So you want to show that with your tone, with the way that you are speaking. Okay, so boys and girls, today, when you're all finished with your author's day book, I want you to practice reading it aloud. Practice reading it and figure out, hmm, you know, where should I sound excited? Where should I sound really happy? Where should I sound scared if there's a scary part or sad if there's a sad part? Like, think about how you can change your tone. Practice it a couple times because tomorrow I want to hear a lot of expression while you're reading. That keeps the reader engaged and the listener engaged and it keeps us listening, and it also is more fun for you to use different voices. So um, that's why I like to use a lot of different voices too, because it's a lot of fun for me. So that's why I want, I want you to try to do that today. Read your story a couple times, um, just to practice getting all the words right and everything, but also practice uh, expression and uh, your tone and how you will say all the different things in your story. I'm so excited to hear them, and I think you're gonna do a great job. I'm sure the writing is awesome, and the illustrations, and also the way that you read them aloud. I think it's gonna be really good, boys and girls. So I'm very excited for that. So go ahead, and if you haven't finished writing your story, go ahead and finish writing it, and illustrating it, and then practice reading with expression. Can't wait to hear them tomorrow, boys and girls.